Let's make butternut squash and mushrooms. This is a great veggie side for fall and it makes a great holiday side dish too. You can make the squash and mushrooms in the oven or in the air fryer. It's up to you. Let's do it. Start by peeling and cutting up your butternut squash. The peel on butternut squash is pretty thick, so you wanna make sure you peel really thoroughly. You don't want any of these little green lines like this. Peel those away. Once you're done peeling, cut off one end so it's not so wobbly, then turn it onto that flat end and cut it in half, and scoop out the seeds. Now it's time to start cutting into that squash. I like to cut it down into more manageable pieces so that it's easier to dice. What you're also looking for before you start dicing is any thick peel that's still left on there. It'll be lighter in color, and if you see that, just use your knife to pare it away. From there, just dice it into half inch pieces and set it aside. Now it's time to prepare the mushrooms. Just cut the woody part off of the stem and cut them into quarters and you're good to go. Next, we're making the blender sauce for the squash. Grab your blender and add olive oil, balsamic vinegar, soy sauce, maple syrup, and some cloves of garlic. Blend that up until you have a nice smooth mixture, then pour it over the squash and mushrooms, tossing to make sure everything's coated really well. You might feel like this isn't enough liquid, but you don't want too much liquid because that will give you mushy squash. Once that's done, you're ready to air fry or bake. If you're baking, make sure you spread everything out into a nice single layer on that baking sheet. And you wanna make sure that you stir a few times during the cooking process. Every 10 to 15 minutes will do the trick. Your squash is ready when it's tender on the inside and a little bit browned on the edges. You can see that it's starting to get there after the third round of cooking, but I'm gonna give it just 10 more minutes. That's some good looking squash. Now add it to your serving bowl and toss it with green onions and dried cranberries and you are ready to serve. I hope that this video answered all of your questions about how to make this butternut squash and mushrooms. If you have any questions I didn't address, feel free to drop a comment, I'm always happy to help. And don't forget to rate and subscribe. Happy cooking!